Hollywood stars like Olivia Wilde, Natalie Portman, Ellen DeGeneres, and wife Portia de Rossi have all sworn off animal products in favor of a vegan diet. Let's start off first with the proteins. What are some of the ways that vegans replace protein from meat? There are ways of getting protein in a vegan diet. And there's nothing worse yeah. than a vegan turning up at a barbecue. You know, when you go, here, there's burgers, sausages. Oh, I'm a vegan. I'm a yo-yo dieter. Yo, hot dog man. Yo, peanuts. <laughs> Why aren't you laughing? Don't you know what yo means? Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Grant Tinker, who used quality television as the cornerstone to create the prolific production house MTM Enterprises with his then-wife Mary Tyler Moore and then reversed the fortunes of NBC in the 80s, has passed away. He was 90. Tinker, who had his fingerprints on such shows as The Mary Tyler Moore Show, The Bob Newhart Show, Family Ties, St. Elsewhere, and Hill Street Blues, passed away Monday at his home, said his son Mark Tinker. I am deeply saddened to learn that my former husband and professional mentor, Grant Tinker, has passed away. That from Mary Tyler Moore. I'm forever grateful for and proud of what we achieved together with the creation of the Mary Tyler Moore Show and founding of MTM Enterprises. Rest in peace, Grant Tinker. The guy behind the wheel of the Walmart truck that nearly killed Tracy Morgan has struck a plea deal in hopes of dodging jail time. The driver, Kevin Roper, reportedly pled guilty Tuesday to vehicular homicide and four counts of aggravated assault stemming from the 2014 crash that severely injured Tracy and killed his friend, James McNair. Roper had been awake more than 24 hours when he slammed into Tracy's limo bus on the New Jersey Turn. As part of the deal, Roper will enter a three-year intervention program that includes 300 hours of community service. If he stays out of trouble after that, the charges will be dropped. The judge still needs to sign off on the deal. Hatchimals are the hottest toy for Christmas this year, completely sold out and selling for hundreds of dollars on eBay. Parents are so desperate that they're actually writing fake letters from Santa to explain why their kids won't get what they wanted. But now, there's an easier way. Introducing Boximals, used stuffed animals stuffed in a box. Hey moms and dads, can't find Hatchimals for your kids this Christmas? Don't worry, get them Boximals. Little stuffed animals stuffed in boxes. They don't talk or make any noise. You just tell your kids when it's time to take one out of the box. They're Boximals. And when playtime's over, stuff them back in the box, put them up on the shelf with all the other crap your kids don't play with. So don't go crazy for the toy you can't find. Get your kids Boximals, the stuffed animals stuffed in a box. And are they expensive? No, we got the stuffed animals from the Goodwill. Slightly used, but in need of love. Imagine the look on your child's face when they open up a Boximal. Yeah, I hate you! Get your kids Boximals, the stuffed animals stuffed in a box. Seconds of fun from ripoff products. Donald Trump will begin his thank you tour tomorrow, visiting all the places that helped him win the election. He's taking things seriously. He's not just making speeches. He's going trailer to trailer. Meanwhile, Dan Quayle met with Donald Trump yesterday. Now, I can deal with the racists, the corporate cronies, and the Wall Street bankers. But if Trump's taking advice from Dan Quayle too, we're all screwed. The latest international report shows that the U.S. still lags behind other countries in the study of science and math. That explains why they can't conduct a reliable election poll. New research suggests that time travel may actually be possible. So we're going to use it to stop Gangnam Style, right? Please tell me we're going to use it to stop Gangnam Style. Nick Cannon says Planned Parenthood is a form of population control. I don't know what all that means, but if it keeps Nick Cannon from reproducing, I'm all for it. Nikki Six says there's no chance of another Motley Crue album. He didn't say why. I'm gonna go ahead and rule out any scheduling conflicts. NASA is inviting amateur inventors to submit ideas for a device that astronauts could use to poop in their spacesuits but remain clean and dry. It would also be of interest to gamers, binge TV viewers, and people who have to sit through staff meetings. In Seattle, a man with a lung disease finished a marathon towing an oxygen tank. 
And I didn't work out today because it was cloudy. Time for Nobody Gives a Fuck. A new study says marijuana users have abnormally low blood flow to the brain, which means, you know, stuff. Hey, brain, nobody gives a fuck. Burger King is gonna bring back Cheesy Tots for a limited time. I won't order them because they're full of fat and high in calories, replied not one regular Burger King customer. Hey, BK, nobody gives a f And California is considering a total ban on sex between attorneys and their clients. If it passes, lawyers won't be able to screw their clients until they send them the bill. Hey, lawyers, clearly nobody gives a f Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live, starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, including the legendary Phil Esposito. Tuesdays and Thursdays, NSS Live.